Previously on Solar Balls. The Sun organizes all the planets in a single orbit as punishment for never listening to him. Now, as the dangers of this arrangement have become evident, some planets and moons have had enough. <coughs> Ow. Are you still sick, Neptune? You're starting to look like Uranus. Ah, good one, Galatea. Huh? Maybe we should ask the sun if he can send us back to our old orbits? Oh, if only it were so simple, Proteus. <coughs> Where's Triton? I'm here. Where were you? <coughs> it's time. For what? Time for what? Are you sure? Yes. Okay, I trust you. What's going on? Good thing you always carry your shades, Triton. Huh? Hello, Triton. What's up, son? I thought I made myself clear. Neither planets nor moons can move from the new orbit that you all share. So... Yeah, that's the problem. You see... I'm neither. What? In reality, I'm a dwarf planet, just like Pluto, Eris, and all the others. I just had the bad luck of getting pulled by Neptune's gravity billions of years ago. You gotta be kidding me! But is this true? Yep, Triton's a foster moon. Why didn't you tell me? Why does no one tell me anything? It's because I crashed with some of Neptune's early moons, and you were pretty sensitive about... Celestial bodies crashing with each other. So you lied to me? Well, I didn't want Triton to carry the guilt for his entire life. And you also don't make telling the truth very easy, son. <laughs> oh, I guess everyone in this solar system has a secret at this point. Anyways, you're already, like, max level mad at all of us. And nothing's gonna change that, so if you'll excuse me... Wait! We're not done here, Triton! Where are you? I'm going back to the Kuiper Belt, where I belong. I'm going back to being a dwarf planet. Uh, but... I thought you said earlier that dwarf planets can continue to do their thing. I'm a dwarf planet, so I'm gonna do my thing. I... I guess I... did say that. Yep. After everything Neptune did for you, you just turn your back on us and- Hey, trust me, kiddo. <sighs> Who is leaving? I can barely see. I think it's Callisto's boyfriend. What? Triton's not my boy. Who said anything about Triton? Kinda suspicious you assumed we were- <sighs> Can someone start a revolution so you two have something better to do? <laughs> I remember. I remember what happened. I... I crashed against your moons, didn't I? That's what you've been hiding all this time? Come with me. When you crashed with my old moons, it was the worst day of my life. But it was also the best, because I found you. But I'm... how can I live with myself? After all, I... It was an accident! One that also falls on me, Triton. My gravity pulled you in. It wasn't your fault. So all along, you were... covering for me? I just did what felt right. Neptune, should we tell anyone? Should we hide it? When the time is right, you'll know what to do. Just remember, lying can get you so far, but the truth? The truth can set you free.
I'll find some help. Two, one, and... Hey! Venus here! Join Patreon! Buy merch! Buy! Oh, come on, Venus! Everyone's doing their take! Why? Most of them want everything for free. They don't care about the people behind the show or how much effort they all put into making it. Well, I'm sure they do. Come on, give it a try. Ugh. So, if you want to support, we have this thing called Patreon, where you can get early episodes, learn tons of secrets about the future of the show, and have your name in the credits. Up to you. We also have a store with some merch, because capitalism. Seriously, Venus? Oh, like they don't know. Ugh. Fine. And in this store, you can get some cool merch, like plushies based on the characters and other stuff. Here's my plushie in case you care. Oh, we also have this thing called Solar Cards. It's a trading card game about space that you can play with friends and family, or just do like Mercury and obsess over collecting them all. If that's your thing, then just know it exists. So, yeah, that's the ad. Bye. Ahem. <laughs> At the Thank you for your support, and enjoy the rest of the show! Explain it to us one more time! Ugh, but I've explained it to you like 20 times! Sorry, I was distracted by the fact that you guys exist! Uh, can anyone explain what's the deal with Red over here? Maki Maki gets very excited when he meets new dwarf planets. I guess meeting four in a row is sort of overkill. Anyways, as I said, we don't have time. The rogue planets are coming. Do you know this for certain? Excuse me? You mentioned Planet X left the solar system. Then you took a huge leap in logic and assumed he'll meet this secret society of so-called rogue planets and come for us all? Look, while you guys are playing your little games, we have been guarding the solar system from external forces. We spread across the Kuiper Belt and beyond so we always know who is coming or leaving. You've got to be kidding me. She's not. I, for example, was tasked to orbit opposite to you, Pluto. My name is Orcus, but I'm also known as Anti-Pluto. Listen, guys, do we even know if these rogue planets exist? Gong, 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 gong. Uh, come again? He said that it's a mathematical certainty that there are countless rogue planets roaming the space between solar systems. And some of them come close to our system, which is why we stand guard. Well, I seriously doubt those rogue planets exist, and if they do, I doubt they even care enough to come here. Then let's give them a reason. Triton? Well, hey, bud, it's been so long. Tell me about it. I don't remember us being so many. Hey, what do you mean by let's give them a reason? I mean that the situation has gotten out of control. The sun is forcing every single planet to share an orbit, which will soon destroy everyone. What? Oh, He's no. gone insane! Hold on. Are you suggesting we actually seek the rogue planets? Nobody knows what they are or what they want. But what I do know is that my planet is in danger. The Earth, Mars, Venus, everyone, they're all at the mercy of a totally deranged sun and they're not enough to deal with him. The sun may be crazy, but at least we know him. We can't say the same about the rogue planets. We must take the risk. It's the only way to save everyone. Gong, gong, gong! I agree. Me too. <sighs> so be it. Are we doing this or not? Uh, what are we doing? Leaving the solar system? What else? Okay, can you repeat everything again? Thanks for watching! Oh, and the next episode is already on Patreon, so watch it a week early by joining. Also, consider checking out our Solar Balls store to get exclusive plushies and solar cards. Bye!